Hi everybody, just a quick tutorial today to show how I set up the lighting for the Cat Canyon which is the scene I used for my natural scattering tutorial. So let's jump into cinema. So if you want to follow along specifically um, you can build yourself a scene. These are just cliffs from Quixel Megascans. Uh, the ground is just a displaced plane and the model of the cats is a free model from CG Trader which I will put a link in the description. These rocks here are created using my scattering technique that I explained in my previous tutorials so I'll put a link in the description to that and then I've just got a single camera set up as you can see here. I wanted to just have some strong daylight coming in from above. I wanted it to be a little bit atmospheric and a little bit moody, a little bit cinematic. Uh, and to do that, it was a fairly basic lighting setup. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dome light. Okay, I'm going to use an HDRI in here. And the one I'm going to use is the Venice Sunset. I'll put a link in the description. You can get that from Polyhaven. And that gives us a base look to start with. Okay, let's create a area light. Right click on it choose animation tags target make sure the target tag selected choose your cats model and drag that into the target object okay let's move this light up let's change it into a disc you know roughly position it above let's scale it up to something like that let's hold down control and click on that light and duplicate it let's take our second one and move it further up off camera let's move it back and then further up. Okay, let's change the color of those lights. So select both the area lights, holding down shift, come down to the color, and let's make them a warmer color. Something like that. Right, let's add the atmospherics. So create a redshift object environment. It'll just blow out immediately. So you want to change the scattering to 0 0.001. Change the tint to something a little darker 26 i know these values from the previous tutorial so just put an attenuation of 0 0.067 and put a phase of negative 0.313 okay and now we want to boost up our area lights because they've been dulled by the volume so take come to the first one the one that the bigger one that's on camera here and let's make this 750 and let's come to the higher one make this 2000 Okay, and then we just want to play around with the positioning and the size of these lights. Until you get something you like. Let's have a look at that. Let's give it a bucket render. And so there you go. You can see the shape of the area light just there uh, in the environment. So you might need to sort of pull it up off camera or just adjust its shape and position until you're happy with how it's looking. That's the basis of the lighting I used for that scene. Thanks for watching.